Hello everyone, I'm Lewis from softlight.io. Today, I will guide you on how to create the text reveal masking on scroll effect using Softlight, IO's tool called Lightmove. Lightmove is an animation visual editor for all website platforms. Therefore, today, we'll guide you on how to use this effect on Elementor, Webflow, and Bricks Builder. As you can see here, this effect is usually applied to the second section onwards. Therefore, first, you will build the hero section for the page, and then move on to the text effect. In Elementor, the structure would be as follows. A container, followed by another container, and a heading. If you are using an older version of Elementor or have not switched to Flex containers, the structure would be a section, column, and heading. In Webflow, the structure would be a section followed by a div block and then the heading. In Bricks Builder, the structure would be a section followed by a container, div, and then the heading. To summarize, there will be a div wrapping around the heading, in all cases mentioned. As you can see, here we actually have two headings stacked on top of each other. One heading is in black color, and another heading is in a slightly lighter color below it. Now, we'll duplicate the heading. In the first heading, I will set the class name as Text Mask Scroll Under. In the second heading, I will set the class name as Text Mask Scroll Top. Now, we'll set the top heading to overlap the under heading. I will set its position to absolute and adjust the positioning to precisely overlap them. If it's Webflow, I would do a similar approach. You can see the two class names I set here. And set the position as absolute for the second heading with the top value of zero and a left value of zero. Please note that the div block should have a position of relative. In Bricks Builder, I will also set the div to have a position of relative. And the first heading will have the class name Text Mask Scroll Under. While the second heading will have the class name Text Mask Scroll Top. I will set the position to absolute for the second heading as well, with the top value of 0 and a left value of 0. After completing the steps, remember to save your work. Now, let's go back to the Lightmove dashboard. You can click on Add New Project and fill in the project name and domain for this project. Create Project. Now, let's add a page to this project. There are two ways to add a page to a project. The first method is to manually enter the URL of the page. In Elementor, you can remove the part after the question mark in the URL. This will be the page URL for your project. In Webflow, you have the option to preview the page and then copy its URL. In Bricks Builder, you will need to copy the part of the URL that is before the question mark as well. For websites that require login or websites hosted on localhost, you can use the Lightmove Soft Light.io Chrome extension. Click on the Lightmove icon in the Chrome toolbar to open the extension. 
Add page. When your page undergoes changes in design or content, use Replace Page to synchronize it with Lightmove. Confirm your selection to replace the page. For live websites, the process is simpler. You just need to copy the URL of the desired page and paste it into the designated field in Lightmove. Add page. When the website undergoes changes, click on the Refetching option. View page. Create a new timeline. In the Trigger On section of the timeline, choose Scroll as the trigger type. Now, let's move to the Animation section in Lightmove. Click on Add Animation to begin the process. Choose the desired icon for the animation and hover over the heading where you want to apply the effect. Now, please select the Text Mask Scroll Top class for the animation. Enable the Split Text feature and set the Split Type to Lines to split the text into three lines. Next, create a new animation and enter Text Mask Scroll Under manually. Since this element is located below the current heading, we cannot use the selection tool to choose it directly. Please press the enter. Please note that there should be a dot before the class name to properly specify the class. Here, you can set the opacity to 0.1 for both the from and to sections. The purpose is to create a fading effect for the text below the heading. Continuing with the process, you will use the selection tool to create a new animation. That applies to the second line of text. Please make sure to avoid selecting this first line and specifically choose the second line for the animation. To avoid confusion due to different classes in various builders, you can directly target the desired element by entering Text Mask Scroll Top Div in the Selector field. This will ensure that the animation is applied to the specific div element within the Text Mask Scroll Top class. In the Custom section, you can enter the specific custom parameters for the animation. In the From tab, you can enter the desired parameters for the animation effect. Similarly, in the To tab, you can enter the corresponding parameters for the animation. Now, you can click on the Play button to preview the animation effect and see how it looks. Continuing with the process, you can utilize the Stagger Each Section. If the animation effect occurs within 0.2 seconds, you should enter O2 in the Stagger Each field. Now, please click on the play button to preview the animation and observe the effect in action. Next, in the timeline section, remember to enable the scrub feature. Now, click on the live preview button to see the result of our work. You can see that the animations have been successfully applied, and you can observe the desired effects on the web page. Click on the Save button, Export, and then copy the JavaScript library provided. Add the HTML widget to implement the animations on your website. Paste the copied JavaScript library code. Next, 
Copy this JavaScript code and paste below. And now the process is completed. For Webflow, please use embed and use code widget in Bricks Builder to import the JavaScript code. And it is all of the process. Thank you for following along. You can visit softlight.io to utilize the Lightmove tool. Please stay tuned for more upcoming exciting effects. We appreciate your support.